This video is brought to you by the Ultimate Nature Creature Add-on Bundle for Blender, Spider Fi Plus Nasarga Lite, available for download on BlenderMarket.com. Alright guys, how do we create a debris tornado in Blender? First open up Blender and of course delete the default cube. Now add a plane and scale it up for the ground in the scene. Go to the Physics Properties tab and make this plane a collision object so particles collide with it. Now add another 3D mesh to use as an emitter for your debris particles. In this case, I'm going to use another plane. Go to your particle tab and add a new emitter particle system. Change the start and end frame of your emission settings to the same number so that your debris doesn't die off or get reborn. In this case, I'll make them both one. Now make the lifetime of your particles last as long as your blender timeline. This is so they can exist throughout your entire render. Finally, under your particle render settings and viewport display, deselect the show emitter checkbox so that only the particles are rendered and not the plane itself. Now to add tornado-like movement for your particles, add a vortex force field to your scene. Go to the Physics Properties tab with the Vortex field selected in order to adjust the settings. I recommend slowly increasing the strength of your Vortex Force field while balancing out the strength with more of the inflow setting. This inflow setting helps bring the particles closer to the center of the force field so it helps to counteract the particles from going everywhere. I'll make the strength around 4 and the inflow negative 1, but feel free to play around with your own settings. Now rotate your Vortex Force field to create more random variation in your particle movement. Now your particle system should be good to go. Now let's create some paper debris to instance on this particle system. Find an image for your paper debris. I'm going to use this larger newspaper image so I have texture options for different pieces of debris within the same file. Use the import images as planes feature to import this image into your scene as a mesh. Subdivide this mesh so we can add shape to the models a bit later and now create a few different variations of this paper debris by duplicating it several times and adjusting the UVs in edit mode on each piece of paper. Now in proportional editing mode, create shape variation on each sheet of paper and add the debris pieces to a new collection in the scene. I'll call mine debris. Now select the particle system again and under its render tab, change the render as option to collection and select the paper debris collection that you have created to instance on your particle system. Increase the scale of your particles until they are a size that you like and boost the scale randomness to 1 for a more organic feel. Now enable the rotation option in your particle system settings, increase the randomize and randomize phase settings all the way, and select the dynamic checkbox for an even more accurate result. Finally, save the project and in the cache tab within the particle settings, bake out the particle system, and you should have a pretty awesome result. Anyways guys, that's how you can create a paper debris tornado in Blender. I hope it was helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content. And I'll see you next time.